In this video, we're going to provide an introduction to the parasite drag analysis in OpenVSP. And this is one of the more complex analyses that you'll have available to you. And it's one of the few that actually care about what model length unit you're going to use. So in the GUI that we have, which you can find here as parasite drag, you have a breakdown of all of the components that are included in the analysis including whatever you choose for a set. So if you have a group of components that are just for parasite drag and say a bunch of internal components that don't matter at all, use sets to help yourself uh, break this down and to make things more realistic. You choose your model unit here. And again, you can choose metric, uh, standard. You can even go unitless if you like. But for the sake of the demonstration, we'll stick with feet. We have a variety of different equations to use to calculate your form factors, your laminar or turbulent uh, friction coefficients, set your reference areas. And you can also change the flow condition in the analysis here. And we'll get into that a bit more later, but these are just the areas where you can adjust and modify your parasite drag buildup. Over on the right here, you're going to have a breakdown of all of the calculations, including a breakdown of your geometric drag coefficients, excrescence, and a total. And it's important to note here that there is a lot going on. Some of this might get a little bit confusing or there might be some nomenclature issues. There's a documentation tab, which talks about what each of these values mean and a name describing the variable, what uh, each of the units are included, the component labels, and even a link to the complete Parasite uh, Drag Wiki documentation which will bring you to this page in the website. And so this is a full breakdown of the tool, including what grouping does, how to handle subsurfaces, and then individual equations that describe how things are computed. Some of the laminar or turbulent equations, how flat plate drag is, is uh, calculated. And if you go further down, you'll start to get the equations themselves for each individual function or equation that defines how the drag buildup is performed, including plots of uh, how these compare to one another. You can even go into things like surface roughness. We have the form factor equations here describing all of the different methods and a plot comparing them all. So this is a really excellent resource for diving in and finding out exactly what's going on with each of these models. So I highly recommend you follow that link and go to it. So while we're here, We'll notice that for right now, this button here at the top titled component is highlighted. And so what that does is it breaks it down as if you're looking at the geometry browser and it breaks it down by hierarchy. But if you want to look at this in a different way and say organize by the total wetted area, you can organize that and sort by the largest wetted area down to the smallest. Or if you want to look at a breakdown by percent total, you can do that as well. And so as you resize these components, um, you will need to rerun uh, the parasite drag analysis. But if your model isn't changing and you just want to change the flow conditions, notice that all of these values are updating on the fly and recalculating what the value is. Because your geometry hasn't changed, you're just changing really the Reynolds and Mach number that go into how these are calculated. But if you do something like coming into your uh, pod, for example, and adjusting the length, notice that these values aren't changing. You have to rerun the analysis and rerun comp geom in here to recompute what that change is. Now, a final word is that all of this stuff lives in the results manager within OpenVSP's memory. Because there's so much going on and it changes all the time, it doesn't make sense to write a results file every time you touch it. If you want the results file with the full breakdown, you click this export to CSV button and you can save these results and then you can go on and, and do something else. So that's a bit of an overview to the parasite drag analysis in OpenVSP. Subsequent videos are going to dive farther into each one of these and provide you with more details on how to use the tool and how to use it well.